All right, so I sacrificed these old fans that I had, and I took their PVM cable, which is only a taco meter, but that's enough. I uh, made them into a Molex connector, and I measured it. So now in the BIOS, I can set it up as a smart fan mode on DC and regulate the voltage as the temperature is. So I can exactly toggle the temperatures, well, like what it is at and what to run it at, what voltages. And I just checked it and the voltage indeed goes up and down. So what I do now, I'll connect the Molex from the pump into the pump. A fan connector which I have and then I will toggle the speeds and set it up and then make sure it runs quiet enough but still runs well enough so that should work and that's compensating with the fact that I can control how fast these fans run on the radiator should keep it really cold still so that should be good so I'm gonna try to do that and see if the pump accepts it because earlier when I ran the pump at 5 volt it was very noisy but it worked but at 7 volt it didn't and 7 volt is the starting voltage that I want to have like 7.5 so let's see my power supply actually turned off then like as if it's a safety feature so I'm gonna see if it runs with the pump cable and see if that works so like usual my stupid idea worked here's the Molex from the pump there's my Duty self cable which I will clean up later. I've hooked it up to a multimeter. Right now it's running at 6 volts. I have a mouse here. And as you can see on my BIOS, I set up a voltage curve with temperature curve. And this is actually the wrong one. This is the one for the fans for the rings. And this one, which doesn't detect RPM, is the one that is the pump. And I set it up and I can show you now. It's on 6 volts and if I turn it to manual you can see how the voltage goes up and you can hear the pump go up so it's running at almost 12 volts so if I turn it down you can hear the pump go down as the voltage goes down so I can get it really quiet but the question is, does the water keep flowing? So I have to test this out, run a couple stress tests, see how it goes. Maybe this works, otherwise I gotta increase the voltage a little. It's running at 5 volts now, which is crazy. You can barely hear it. So for idle, if the water keeps flowing enough and it keeps the temperature at like 45 degrees idle at 5 gigahertz, I'll be fine with that. So this is some experimenting I have to do, and then I'll set this further up. So I'm having a lot of fun. As you can see, my temperature are really low. They're like below 40. I'm running at 5 gigahertz with the RAM overclocked to almost 3.5 gigs. Video cards overclocked like crazy. And again, sub 40 degrees idle. And the pump is running at 5 volts. As you can hear, the pump is really quiet, running at 5 volts. And now, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna check the temps, throw on IDA, which throws the CPU up. The temperature shoot up, of course. The pump spins up, the fans are louder, and it's running at 10 volts. And if the temperature goes, goes further up, it will go up to 12 volts. So the pump is regulated now purely on temperature. And that's really dope because it's not a PVM pump. This is a do-it-yourself thing. And it's below 70 degrees. And may I remember, it's running at 5 gigahertz. So at 5 gigahertz with a custom water loop that is very do-it-yourself, that has barely cost any money, I can keep like in the 70s, sub-70s with 5 gigahertz with this setup and it's still not that crazy loud the pump is actually running still lower than it was yesterday because yesterday it was running at 12 volts all the time now it's on the full load at 10 volts the fan spin up keeping the temperature really quiet and I can this was the first attempt and um, as you can see stress test is going I've uh, run IDA for 20 hours before on the 5 gigahertz and the 3.5 gram, it's all stable. And you can see, very nice.
So now if I disable the stress test, you can hear. the pump going back down and the fans going back down. So now this whole setup is regulated by this custom made cable, which you can't see, hang on. With this custom made cable that runs to a speed fan controller there and is now PVM controlled. So uh, crazy, I'm gonna clean this up, make the cable look better and uh, finish this core build up. So uh, yeah, now the pump runs at 5 volts. I have no idea if it's damaging to the pump. I guess time will tell. I will order a secondary one since these are not that expensive. And this one I'll order one with PVM. If this one breaks, I'll replace it with the PVM one. But I will already have it. So uh, till then I'll use this. It's so quiet. 5 volts. I could probably turn it lower, but I don't want to. And if I put Ida back on... So amazing. That's dope. I'm gonna keep testing it, of course, but yeah, that's the core build. Running at 5 gigahertz, water cooled, with a custom loop, done for under, I think, under $130, the custom loop. Crazy. This has been a long time coming. I hope you didn't mind waiting too long. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.